Hi, I'm Randy Rolls. Unmanned aircraft systems, or drones, routinely operate in the national airspace system. With so many drones in use, it may be just a matter of time before you, as a helicopter pilot, encounter one. Let's discuss this on the FAA's Rotorcraft Collective. A 2019 study by the Volpe National Transportation System Center quantifies just how hard it is to see quadcopter drones. Working with control tower operators, researchers discovered that only 26% of time did controllers spot a drone above the airfield. They also overestimated the drone's altitude and more times than not, they erred in a drone's orientation to a nearby manned aircraft. Add to this the fact that helicopters are moving as may be a nearby drone, and the conclusion becomes apparent. Spotting a drone for a pilot flying is highly unlikely. Drone operators may not realize our helicopters regularly operate in the same environments as their drones. An in-flight collision with a drone could lead to a loss of control or pilot incapacitation, resulting in disastrous consequences. Even if the drone operator understands the risks seeing and avoiding a manned aircraft may be problematic. Take for instance, when a drone operator recently flew his drone along the edge of a remote Alaskan lake. The terrain behind him sharply rose so that he neither saw nor heard the inbound tour helicopter until it was too late for him to respond. The main rotor of the descending helicopter struck and destroyed the drone without disrupting the helicopter's flight. The helicopter pilot never saw the drone. Replacing the damaged main rotor blade of the helicopter cost in the tens of thousands of dollars. Another rotorcraft flying over a Florida beach barely missed a hovering drone. Both were at legal altitudes. The video shot by the drone shows how close the two aircraft came. Factoring in the potential dangers of an in-flight collision with a drone, Helicopter pilots must include these considerations to help protect their aircraft and passengers. First, accept that we are now sharing the airspace with drones. Become familiar with drone regulations, but realize that some operators might not be in total compliance with the regulations. Avoid, or at least be extra vigilant, in areas that would be attractive for videography or photography, such as skylines or coastlines. When a drone operator is flying a mission, he or she may not have their full attention on collision avoidance with manned aircraft. Fly at higher altitudes knowing that most drone operators are typically filming things on or near the ground. While the rules specify drone operations to stay at or below 400 feet above terrain or 400 feet above and beside an object such as a tower or building, you may encounter a drone at any altitude. For helicopters supporting rescue efforts or news gathering, you could unknowingly be sharing the skies with drones on a similar mission. Drones are increasingly being used by first responders to help with rescue efforts. Realize that seeing and avoiding drones can be extremely difficult. Avoidance is the responsibility of the drone operator, but he or she may not hear or see the aircraft in time to avoid a collision. Never assume that the person flying the drone has your helicopter or even their own drone in sight. Many drone pilots, when losing sight of their aircraft, will activate the return to home feature. Once activated, the drone may be autonomous, having no ability to sense and avoid another aircraft, increasing the risk of a collision. Wear head and face protection, such as a helmet. Should a drone come through your windscreen, wearing a helmet with a visor may offer you enough protection to continue to fly the aircraft. One more thing, remember crew resource management. If you have other crew members or passengers you feel would be helpful in looking for drones or other traffic, use them. From a see and avoid aspect, helicopter pilots at a profound disadvantage. Applying a few well thought out strategies can help you out of the drone danger zone. For the FAA safety team and the U.S. helicopter safety team, I'm Randy Rolls.